right. Um, there will be an executive session following the meeting to discuss negotiations and personnel issues. Um, are there any other agenda edits uh, by board meetings or by board members? Seeing none. Uh, any presentations by public on agenda items? No, okay. Uh, let's move on to our consent items 7A to 7GG as amended. I make that motion. Any board discussion? Just a quick question, Mr. Scott. I just wonder why we're probably old 7 g Um, Mr. Hurley, is that something you can, you can address in 7Q, please? Okay. Okay. So are we delaying renewal or not renewing? Yes, I must have come up to yeah. probably get out of the contract, yeah. but we'll get that information and get back to okay. So we could be approving it. Yeah, I'll be more information. We'll get more information and let you know. Thank you, Mr. Hatch. All right. Um, Mr. Wolf. Agenda items, consent items, 7A through 7GG as amended will be unanimously adopted unless I hear motions to the contrary. Hearing none, consent item, agenda items 7A through 7GG as amended is adopted. All right. Uh, personnel consent items A, uh, 8A to 8E. We have a motion. Second. Any board discussion? Personnel consent items 8A through 8E will be considered unanimously adopted unless they hear a motion to the contrary. Hearing none. Personal consent agenda items 8A through 8E are adopted. All right, we have uh, item 9, finance, uh, A and B as amended. So we have, um, I guess that should be item 4. I think we just added, I was just adding the attachments was the, was the edit. Mm -hmm. Ah, there we go, okay. What, what, what the motion was made? I didn't hear a motion. Oh. 8 8 9 8 9 8 B as amended. Did you accept it? Yes. Julian. <laughs> he said do it. Okay. All right, any board discussion? Actually, yes, Mr. Scott. <laughs> um, I know we have, actually have a, 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 Couple parents on the board that are still involved, and uh, you know, I said for years when I was part of the, the cheerleading piece that I don't, you know, all these fundraisers don't want to spend. And I look at the budgets for you know, thirty-one thousand, fifteen thousand. I, you know, it's all being raised by parents, and um, I just go back to the fact that I don't know how. I don't know, I just think the whole Shirley thing is you look at. I mean, I, I, if you're a parent, if you're a parent that is a limited means, I don't know how you have your kid and your children, I don't know how you afford it. 
Um, we are doing that is fundraising and out of parents' pockets. Um, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe this is already. Uh, I'm sure I have other thoughts, but I guess I'm, I'm no longer in that realm. But no, I agree. It's quite expensive. But I, I don't know what you're going to do. With it. Yeah. Just to say it seems, seems a little yeah. Yeah, crazy. Yeah, definitely out of mind. <laughs> so this, yeah, I know from the music side, they do have what's called crowdfund, at least they had crowdfund um, for underprivileged kids that you know, can't afford like the, the equipment that they, they're required to get shoes and those things. Uh, there's no opposite uh, budget um, for the sports side for those kids. Well, I don't know if it's changed, but I know some of the when, when, when we were involved, it was the uniform was constantly changing. I mean, it wasn't like you could buy a uniform with them and you had it for, for a few years. It, it just, I mean, all the, you just kind of get all new, you know, all the uniform and, and you know, you needed, you need you know, there's just so much you need out there. And, and, and there is a lot of fundraising, so you could do extreme fundraising for it as a parent. Uh, a lot of times we just opted to to write a check at the time because every time we turned around, there was a new, a new fundraiser. Um, but, um, you know, yeah, I, I mean, like, I guess if you're looking at the names, you could do all the fundraising and you might. I think so, so it has to change. I mean, you, so your kid would have an account, right? So whenever your kid fundraised would go into their, their account as an offset. It, vary, it varies. It um, varies. Some of them, like last weekend, the snack shack that just went for the general fund, no matter what parents participated. Um, so I know that we have a bake sale coming up, and that's going to go specifically to, not for here, but uh, specifically to students that participate. But it's, I wouldn't even say it's for those that are economically disadvantaged that can't afford it. It's almost impossible to afford it. I mean, I yeah. pay for cheerleading instead of buying my daughter a car. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's, this year for cheer. it's it's more for cheer between middle school and high school. It's almost forty six thousand dollars according to this, and high school football is only twenty six thousand. So I mean, you know, some of it is just the choices that are made, right? Like as far as camps Absolutely. and uniforms, and Correct. it's not like this is the bare bones minimum to participate. Didn't we, didn't we vote last year that we would? Finally, a lot of some money for uniforms, and then I was told yeah. that it's like every four years. Well, we tried to make it comparable to the other sports, right, but I didn't know when it was going to start. Which wasn't going right. to really help, like you had mentioned, that basically every year the uni. I mean, yeah, it'll help. Well, it. Actually, this year it stayed the same because I went to buy one. Oh, okay, well, that's good. <laughs> Kids are on the cheer squad versus having to on football squad. No, I'm with you. Uh, I, I, it's, it's even more expensive yeah. per person. I, no, I'm, I totally get it. I'm just saying, it's not like, like the football is. This is what has to happen to have a football season. Whereas the cheer is a lot of voluntary activities with camps and uh, well, I think competitions it's and uniform travel. Right. But I mean, y y your your point is what that we. I, think, like, I, mean, I don't know if something needs to change in the program as far as as everything they do, um, but it just it just seems like it's. I mean, do we have kids that want to cheer that can't? Yeah, no. Um, I mean, well, to your point, I mean, I, I'm just thank God my daughter doesn't want to cheer because I can't imagine. I think they're having somebody, they're <laughs> that much money. Yeah, but I think there's somebody having them on the competition team with some cost. But it was when my daughter was doing it every year. They wanted to well, if you look at the line items, I mean, competition travel is like ten thousand dollars that the that the booster organization pays for, where it's zero for high school football because it's school high school. Isn't that camping money? So it's ten thousand or my three. I didn't hear what you said. They're going to Disney. They're planning on Disney this year. Yeah. Yeah. It's so much more, but yeah. I think they switch that to every other. But I guess what I'm like Dave's point was there's kids that can't that can't participate. Is there you know do we do we trim down the you know what what they're doing to try to make it more affordable? But it sounds like 
in the end, it's still cheaper just to to play other sports than to participate in cheer by by a long shot. But that's what the kids wanted. Yeah, I'm just I'm yeah. I'm saying like if you're a kid who wants to cheer but can't afford it, yeah. what's the option? Like I, I don't I don't know. Is there a, a, an ability in someone like Brandon Reduce Lunch to have um, the uh, group help you pay? He wouldn't be on comp. I don't. I don't know. Right. There, so, so, you, so take the Disney trip off, but it's still. There's still, still a lot of money. You see, because uh, if you're yeah. on free and reduced lunch, the uh, the music boosters will help offset some of those costs, which is not as much. It's like like um, like Mr. Wolf was saying. It's like about 150 dollars a year that goes to the booster organization, which is not like this, but you know. The organization for music will offset that for somebody who wants to be involved in marching band. So is there, is there, is it like, hey, I can cheer, be a cheerleader for the football team, and that's it? Yeah. Yeah. And this is inclusive of all the other, everything else. Right. Correct. So if I just want to cheer, yeah. I could, that's reasonable, right? I can do that like I would any other sport or any other activity. It's the it competitive on, size. on how many uniforms they need to buy and uh, sneakers and well, I think that is rain gear more and, and blowers. Yeah, but that, you, you don't get, are you doing all that? They're doing all those uniforms for, for like basketball, wrestling, and football cheer? I don't think it's nearly important. It's not technology and software. Same ones? Cheerleading is also a competition for and they're not using the same cheer uniform for all the sports. Yes, they are. They are. Because they buy it. The school district does not buy it. As far as I know, the school district doesn't do any money for cheer. Well, I think we, 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 we voted to make it on par with other sports. You know, there should be some. If you can take the four year, right? So, so the idea was you get a. What we're doing with other sports is you had a need of four years, right? But that's not necessarily going to work for children. Then they, they should take that number and, and divide it up so that each year the kids get a stipend or something to go towards, go towards the uniform purchase. That way, at least, there's something that, that these kids get towards the uniform. So, just to try to reel us back in here, are we. Are we we're voting to approve that they can the, the boosters can operate, and we have this this attachment to. Yeah, I, I'm, I have no problem voting. This for, is voting for. I just wanted to get this cheerleading thing out so that we can hopefully, you know, maybe with our new. You know, it sounds like maybe some extra, extra extracurricular team CEO can talk like, through. Yeah. Right. We had. Uh, yeah. Just trying to help future generation generations of cheer. Yeah, we. So that sounds that like something. We had a motion, motion to, yeah. to do something, Mr. Askew. No, no motion. I just wanted to get it out, out the, the public air so that okay. you know. Can be we about it. we have a motion, correct? We're on, on yeah. for yeah. nine. Yeah. Correct. So we just. Second. So you can call the motion. You know, for all those in favor, this is for nine. Um, item nine, finance as amended. Uh, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. Motion passes. Nine and zero. Uh, personnel. So this is personnel. Uh, item ten, as amended. Um, so this is ten. A, B, and C. I like that version. You have a second? Second. Any board discussion on personnel? All, right. uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? All right, motion passes, 9-0. Uh, old business, items uh, 11-8. Oh. Just because we're on personnel, I know this is going to be Casey's last meeting, so I wanted to thank Casey for his uh, time here at Danny Boone and everything he did uh, on the facilities and everything. So thank you, Casey. Legacy will be all. We have all new doors and all working. I, 
that was he stole my thunder. No, one one door. One more door. Did he get one more door? Which one? The big one. The big one. Just stay seated. Just for you, Jeff. How much? Probably like 40, 50, 60. 40, 50, 60. He's not lying. It's expensive. Is he kidding? No. I'm, I'm glad I missed that one, that meeting. I will miss our door discussions and our locks um, and Mark, clock and clock Mark, discussions. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. We've already called ahead. I'm going to check their their uh, board agenda for, for door replacement. Because then I think he's in cahoots with the door companies yeah. at that point. I'm going to call. I'm going to have to call somebody. All right. Um, yes, thank you, Casey. And uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Uh, any uh, motion for 11 A and B? Second. All right. Any board discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Um, no, no new business listed. Any new business for board members? I just wanted the uh, uh, board to know in our facilities meeting, we did meet with a uh, new company, Interstate, and uh, oh. we did express to them some of the concerns we had with not being up to staffing and, and some different issues. They reassured us that they will be up to staff and ready um, in that category. I would also like to point out, though, uh, and maybe serve notice for, for Mr. Subers, um, you know, if they don't get up to speed or whatever, technically, I think there's some contractual issues that maybe they didn't complete. Like, I don't want to get six months down the road and everyone say, oh, well, we would have known about this sooner. So I don't know how I serve record saying concern that potentially they don't, they're not fully staffed, and if they're not fully staffed at the next meeting, and we're not happy with that, we'd like to maybe make, you know. Absolutely, I'll, I'll consult um, with the sayings, and we'll follow up as, as required, and we'll continue to monitor it. It, it may be a non-issue, but I just don't want it to get lost. Got it. Yeah. So, I know early reports were schools look great. Was everything good for day one, as far as the buildings are concerned? Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we've been told yes. I, I didn't walk through and, and look at all the schools on day one. Um, we have some concerns, but again, they think they have a handle on it, so we'll know in September if they do. So were these addressed in the discussion with them at the facilities meeting? I believe so. I think, you know, Casey was honest with them. Mr. Wolf, that's the 15th of September, will be first day. Okay. Mr. Wolf, Mr. Stroll, and myself question them pretty heavily. So while while I, they're I, not. I, 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 I'm well, sorry, Mr. Rapkin. Well, I'm not hitting hard at all. I said, there was focus on cheerleading. Dave was getting his. Polishing up his uh, his cheerleading discussions. I was taking those while they were. They were uh, <laughs> um. While they're not full staffed, we're not going to have any payroll accounting issues like we had last time, right? All right, with the hours and all that business. I have, yeah, I haven't even paid them. Okay. Oh, I'm wonderful. Waiting until the very last second, make sure everything's good. All right. I'll all right, that's all good. The time sheets and the payroll, and we'll go through it. Never fears, I was here. I <laughs> probably work with them again. And do we since Mr. Blackmore State, uh, did you want to give any transportation report? Well, that's what I was going to ask next. Well, that's, that's kind of why I hung, I hung around. Um, just to let you know, um, the first day of transportation, I feel went very well, and I have to give total credit uh, to three people: John Copley, Joel Fulmer, and Wayne Elsler. Uh, without those three people, you would have not had school open the way you open today. Uh, we worked very hard last six, eight weeks, um, especially Joelle. Um, she, is, she is awesome. Um, I have told many of you that, yes, I had the title of Director of Transportation, but 99% of the work was done by her. Um, and I'm not afraid to sit here and admit that. I was a great cheer person for her. I supported her in every way I could. Um, made all, I took all the hits from mom and dad's on the phone. About 400 of them, 350, 400 phone calls in about four or five days. So 
which is fine, you know. But uh, she was doing all the back half of stuff, all the rerouting, all the changes, um, talking to John and Wayne. Um, we, we could not have done this without roads and clients. Um, it, was, it was great. We met with them numerous times. With me having the role as a July 1st, Dr. Cooper set some good guidelines in place that, that we followed. We knew we were going to get a ton of phone calls and a ton of complaints from parents. We expected it, and we got them, and, and that's fine. Uh, you know, uh, having Dr. Cooper's support with, with the changes that we made, and, and Mr. Hurley's support with that, um, when I got ones that I kind of couldn't really solve, I forwarded off to, to my bosses, you know, and, and they handled them, and, and pretty much the phone calls have, have, have been minimized. But uh, it was, I think it was a great success we had a couple kids get on the wrong buses, which you're going to on the first day. I was with John um, at the intermediate um, uh, morning and afternoon. We made major changes over there where bus pickup and parent drop off and stuff was. Um, we definitely ripped the band. The band aid was torn off this year. There, there is no doubt about it. Um, so it, I think it went very well. And I saw John walk in, so I said, well, I guess I'm going to go attend the meeting and make sure if anybody has any questions. You know, kind of thing to, to, just to kind of let you guys know. So um, I, I will tell you this, you're, you're in very good hands with the two contractors that you have. Um, going forward, without a doubt, uh, and we're going to have to just Joel in here. So, um, you know, it was, it was a fun and interesting two months being in that role. Uh, I learned more about transportation than I ever wanted to know and ever wanted to ever again, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. So. <laughs> Um, but no, I think I, I think you're, you're you're set up for for success um, with 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 that, with all of the people people involved um, with, with this. And so um, and, and yes, there were some major major changes we made this year. I mean, we have you know stops that used to go every block. We now have stops that are four blocks, three three four blocks that people have to walk. Oh, so there, there's there <gasps> you will be surprised on how many phone calls we received that. That was inconsiderate, that was uncalled for. Um, I, I, I've been called a lot of names. That's fine. I'm a grown person like that, I can take it. You know? um, and then I'll let the, my, my, my back pocket the deal always is, is my kids go to Muhlenberg and they're 1.7 miles from the high school and they're walkers. That, that seems to quiet up parents pretty quick. So, um, but, uh, but yeah, it, it, it went, I think it went very smooth. I'll, I'll defer it to John and, and Wayne uh, for clients here if they want to add anything. But, So I know when we talked about all the changes, um, one of the things we talked about was on an average, uh, the, sh the, the, the average length of time that kids would be on the bus would go down. Like, will we get a follow Will we get a metric that says that that has or hasn't happened? I can tell you just like not today, memory. but just no, like you know a month you from now, or whatever. Off of memory, there's probably only six to eight routes that are over half an hour. So. Let me just say that a big part of the problem with why the runs were long was because you had two elementary oh. schools at the same time. Yeah. I mean, that caused an additional 15 to 20 minutes on most elementary runs. Because they shared buses, I mean? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Casey had the, the, I believe, positive forethought to think, well, this really shouldn't be done this way. And I think in that, we saved a lot of time. Most of the runs are, I mean, I would say all of our buses are back by 4.15, which was a marked improvement for last year. Yep. So, so at some point we'll get some data that we can share and say, this is, you know, what's changed from this year to last year. Yeah, we can get some. Because I'd like to see a summary of, like, you know, we used to have X number of stops, we used to have you know, three and four. I know my daughter used to talk about being on the third wave of the, you know, leaving the school. Like, like basically, a, I think it would be great to have a summary of what's changed um, and then have that data to say, hey, we, you know, we eliminated a bus, we cut the times down from this to this. You know, any way we could, you know, that, that, that just to compare... Um, I mean, at some point, I would imagine we're going to save on fuel over over a length of time with all the fewer stops, right? Shorter bus runs, like anything. I think all of that is stuff that we need to pop, to share, not only in in the board for the board, but also on the website, 
and just say, hey, look, you know, I know this may have been inconvenient, but you know, this is this is why we did it, and it, it's working. So anyway, thank you guys, and thank you, Casey, for the update. Um, one more quick thing, Scott. Just for a reminder, by the board that that will be still here come the come the year that we will need to fill the BCIU spot. So just put that out there. In January? We're fighting over that. In, now. in, in December. <laughs> in December. <laughs> We're arguing behind the scenes somewhere. Okay. Leave it on present. Is that here? Is that here? I'll, 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 I'll talk about your hack. It's rock, paper, scissors. Have, there's still competition for the job. Yeah. All right. Any presentations on by public on any issues? Do I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second.